Hey, it's Drew Bennett from benspark.com and it's going to be a really quick vlog today because I have 10 minutes to get to work uh, or get out the door to get to work uh, for, the, for, the, for the night. Uh, so um, we'll see what happens tonight. Yeah, yeah, big tension last night. That was, uh, can't really talk about it, but uh, yeah, big tension last night. All right, but what I can talk about is a couple of things that I got in the mail recently. So for my kids, uh, we got these new Hasbro uh, Frozen characters. Now, Hasbro now has the uh, license to do the dolls for Disney, and they've got Frozen, and these are the new Frozen Anna and Elsa. You can see they're, they're differently uh, sculpted than uh, the ones from Mattel, and I, unfortunately, when I was cutting off the little tags that go on the back of their head, I cut some of Anna's uh, white uh, there, but Anna and Elsa, and my daughter really likes them uh, very much. They also came with some little, little uh, characters, little figures, this whole new uh, little line. I'll have to show you that in another video. I didn't grab those downstairs, um, but I'll show you that in, in the video. Actually, Sunday, uh, Frozen's going to be on the Disney Channel for the first time. So we got Frozen. And then right after that is a new comedy show called Stuck in the Middle uh, about a young girl who is the middle child of seven children with a mom and dad. They live in Massachusetts and she's kind of an inventor and very quick-witted and fun. So she's trying to stand out uh, in the family and it's called Stuck in the Middle. Uh, I wrote a little post about it. Maybe I'll put a link there to it. Uh, I'm going to write a post about Frozen. I'll put a link down to that too with all more pictures of the Frozen toys that um, we, we got. All right, so in addition, in addition to being a um, vlogger and a blogger and all that stuff, I'm also a PBS Kids VIP. That doesn't mean very important person. What it means is very involved parent. And I'm uh, part of a group of very involved parents that uh, promote PBS Kids uh, shows. And I've gone to the PBS annual meeting like the past four years. I really hope to go again, um, but that's going to depend on how much engagement I get. And part of that is for a new show that starts on Monday. It's called Ready Jet Go. Ready Jet Go is about jet propulsion, who is a boy, is an alien from Bortron 7, who comes down to Earth uh, with his parents. His parents are named Carrot and Celery because they thought that those were Earth names. Um, the show is produced by Craig Bartlett, who does, who does um, a Dinosaur Train. So, you know, talk about a lot of fun uh um, a lot of fun music. You can actually see Ready Jet Go if you have the PBS Kids app right now. So on our Roku TV, we have the PBS Kids app, and then you got Ready Jet Go, so you can see a whole bunch of the episodes. You can see the interstitials with Dr. Amy Meinzer, uh, who is an astronomer, and I met her. She is so sweet, such an awesome person, and a great role model for kids. Now, when we're promoting new shows that come out for PBS Kids, for uh, things like Ready Jet Go, uh, PBS brings sends me different packages of stuff. So I got this great package of things from PBS Kids all to do with astronomy and space. Um, so I got this really neat star and planet locator. My daughter's going to love this. Um, she's actually got a telescope that we got from Educational Insights. It's from uh, Nancy B's uh, Science Club. So she's got this uh, telescope that she can't wait to, to you know really start using. We'll probably use it more down the Cape when she goes down to science school. But we got this star map, which is neat. Um, you know, a couple coloring pages. So that's the Ready Jet Go logo. Okay, so some coloring pages here of different uh, star um, constellations. Okay, we got this cool matching game uh, for NASA space. Okay, so you can help explore space and do matching so you can learn some stuff. I guess there was a, um, and I don't know enough about this, but some major science breakthrough that proves uh, the th Einstein's theory. Um, I think it's gravitational something or others. That's really amazing, especially if you're into this, into space and science and stuff. So um, then this thing from Melissa and Doug, it's a it's a write a mat. So I guess you can color in the different countries and stuff like that. Uh, so they sent these little pencils that color on this so apparently they probably wipe off or something like that but um, my daughter got this 
uh, puzzle that has all the state capitals. So now she can go through this and do it, look at, you know, put the countries together. So that's going to be cool. Let's see. Got a pair of Eclipse shades. Uh, we're not going to have any Eclipse anytime soon, I don't think. And we never really see a good one here anyway. Um, okay. Kids cannot wait to use this, which is a water rocket. And we'll maybe try to do that uh, when it's below zero out here and see what the water does. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know when we're going to use this, but uh, they really want to play with this. So, jet propulsion, space, all that stuff. The kids go out to space and explore. Now, this is kind of neat. This is a... Um, I made my telescope. So, it's a thing to put together a telescope and... We'll we'll do this as an activity probably this week with uh, school vacation, and the kids will get to you know make their own little telescope. Uh, probably Andrew will have this because Eva has a telescope of her own. It's actually a really nice telescope uh, from Nancy B, and it's from Educational Insights. So ready, Jet Go. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Jet is actually voiced by um, the same woman who does. Uh, Rainbow Dash and Applejack from the um, My Little Pony. Um, she does a whole bunch of different characters. She actually voices uh, the girl from The Littlest Pet Shop and a whole bunch of things. So she does a really great job as Jet. Um, it's fun, lots of cool music, lots of fun music. There's a whole song about the scientific method. Uh, there's a song about the solar system. It's gonna be a great show for kids. It starts on Monday on PBS Kids. Monday, February 15th on PBS Kids, or you can get it right now online at pbskids.com, or you can also get it on the PBS Kids app. So that's Ready, Jet, Go. All right, one last thing before I go. It doesn't have to do with space exploration, but it does have to do with time exploration. And that is, I found the Hot Wheels, okay, the Back to the Future uh, DeLorean there, and it's all, it's like the hovercraft mode. Uh, so I got that, uh, I found it in the, in the store, so, uh, I'm not saving anything, I'm just, you know, here we go. So, it's neat, it has little, little wheels on the bottom too, so it can still roll. Um, but, you know, the actual wheels of it are turned into hovercraft mode. You see that? <clears throat> so, um, you know, Back to the Future is one of my favorite movies ever, and... It's one that I love and my dad loves, so it's really great that we get to watch it together uh, when it comes on. And, uh, you know, this year was, uh, well, 2015 was, you know, the year for Back to the Future 2, so that was really cool. Um, this is Drew Bennett from BenSpark.com. Uh, I can be found on Instagram as BenSpark, on Twitter as BenSpark, at Facebook.com slash I'm not a famous blogger. Today's question of the day is, what is your favorite space movie? Okay, uh, is it Galaxy Quest? Is it Star Wars? Is it Star Trek? What What is your favorite space movie? Tell me in the comments below, and if you would please subscribe, uh, leave me a thumbs up if you'd like, and please come back tomorrow. I'll be back.